Hi guys, uh, I'm back with another video. My name is Martin and this is some sort of continuation or update to my previous videos. Uh, I re redo the, the, the breadboard. Uh, the circuit on the breadboard is uh, different now. And also you see uh, these uh, coils, they are pretty neat. Um, you see how I build these and this one here there is nothing here so uh, what I did is uh, uh, I'm attaching two LEDs here uh, you see there is a capacitor and I'm attaching the LEDs this time only uh, only uh, on three windings of the coil so as you can see uh, here is uh, the beginning of the winding here is the end of the first one uh, this is the second one and here is the third one and the uh, load is attached between third and uh, this one here, the start of the coil. So only uh, across uh, three, mm, three windings there are attached two LEDs. Uh, also what I did is uh, I uh, raised the voltage. Uh, Three batteries are attached uh, here in this configuration. Uh, they should be given 27 volts, but uh, they are used, so about 26, I guess. Uh, and the meter is hooked up at the 200 millivolts uh, division. In series, here is the the positive going to the meter and uh, negative is this one going to the to the breadboard and this is the other from the meter to the positive <clears throat> so let me start the device one milliamps at the idle and uh, I'm gonna tune the coil here with the this capacitor again here you see the LEDs only across three windings we have a, a 1.1 milliamp here of course guys I wish uh, it was a little bit more darker here at 1 milliamp I want to show you the range.
So you see the distance between the coil. Scale in centimeters just to get an idea. And I'm going to tune again. My camera don't want to focus, but as you can see, they just about on. It's pretty sharp to tune because here you see 0.1 milliamp. It's pretty sharp to tune at this distance because uh, and the load is attached only across three coil, uh, three windings. So <clears throat> there is a. Only a portion of the whole voltage of the coil. So uh, when it's at uh, uh, longer distances, uh, the voltage is pretty low on the these three windings. Here I tune again. So it's pretty good uh, that at Cost of this uh, current consumption, mm, you can uh, drive something <laughs> at, at this distance. I'm gonna bring it closer again and I'll show you. I'm gonna tune again the capacitor. That's pretty neat uh, for this uh, consumption. 1.3 milliamps, guys. And the range is maybe 60 centimeters here. I am not sure. Tune it again. It's very sharp. Just a slight touch on the variable capacitor, and you missed it. Point one milliamps, and it's very sensitive uh, when I tune it. I can, when I tune it with the capacitor, I can detune it with my hand. When I'm touching the coil. Anyway guys, <clears throat> uh, even when it's here, Uh, 
now I'm gonna multiply it by 27 volts that's the that's the I mean uh, 1.3 volts 1.3 milliamps divided by 1000 is equal to this in amps times 27 volts that's the power in watts uh, it looks like uh, 35 milliwatts and uh, at, uh, at the higher distances when, when the load is uh, uh, far away you see that the consumption was 0.1 milliamps divided by 1000 is equal to this uh, multiplied by 27 2.7 milliwatts so at 2.7 milliwatts it uh, still can drive something at this distance uh, I'm gonna show you the voltage uh, uh, across the across the circuit and I'm gonna disconnect the 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 meter and I'm gonna hooked up as a voltmeter just a second So, uh, so the volume, the meter is on two two hundred volts DC, and I'm gonna I'm try to measure the voltage across the circuit. Here you see, guys, almost twenty six volts. Twenty six volts. So uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna try to make uh, another video soon. Uh, so that's it for now. See you guys.